Hi, this is Stacey of Ellis Family Farms, and we've had a lot of rain. I'll have to show you how much rain we've had around here. Huh. And the dogs are after something again. I'm okay with that. This is, well, this is where I've got my, <clears throat> some basil that I bought the other day that I haven't gotten replanted, <clears throat> and uh, some blackberry, and and most of this is raspberry, but I've got to get this out of here cause, and empty this thing again. I like having these plants in here so that it helps retain some of the water, but we don't need this much water, so we don't need to drown them, that's for sure. So I'm going to get this emptied out and see if we can let these guys have a little bit of air. Okay, we've got this emptied out now. I had to get two of them. Eh, they just weren't. I don't think they're making it, so I put those down there. So we got some things at least trying to survive here. Uh, I've been keeping this one covered because it's got. Well, let me see if I can get around here and show you a little bit better. I had restarted some more spinach, and I've got to do something with these. I may end up having to throw them away because I've just waited way too long, and they've had two breaths of life. But oh, I got to try. But let me show you something else over here. This is the ditch that's supposed to come from the trailer house to the septic area. This is where Tom was supposed to put the line and it's just full of water. In fact, I just let the ducks out and they may be I, I come around the corner after we've had a good rain and discover that they like to, they like to swim in this ditch. These tomatoes are looking pretty good. Hey, girls, get out of there. Hang on a minute. I think he's trying to get it egg that bet has already been laid and I forgot to look for them yeah this is a lot of grass that needs to be picked up or mowed and done yep there's an egg so I need to get it out of there before she gets them because my dog loves duck eggs all right back to my tomatoes these guys are looking really good ouch I just tripped over a steak Looks like these have actually done well enough that I can take those off today, and I probably will. Yep. I think that putting those around the tomatoes was a big help, especially since we do have so much vole pressure and stuff. Oh, look at all this weeding I need to do. That's one of my goals today. And I get the feeling I've planted my green beans too deep. And I didn't mean to do that. It was muddy, the stick went deep, and I put the seeds in anyway. That was probably a bad mistake. Some of my lettuces are starting to look good, but I'm not seeing very much okra. But of course, there's a lot of weeds, so it's hard to see the okra. I don't know. And we got one, one, uh, either, it's either zucchini or, um, yellow squash plant there and another one here and I think Tom planted some more so we should start seeing some more of those pretty soon too but I've got to get on this because this is the stuff that took over I believe my garden last year and left me just completely without any ooh and I need to get some more uh I've been I've been harvesting some of this this uh spinach and that's been pretty cool and these are all supposed to be head lettuces but I have to admit I've been stealing some of the leaves on the outer edge of them too because they look really nice and my potatoes are starting to get some blossoms. I'm not sure what that means. I am wonder if that means it's getting close to time for me to being able to start getting, uh, dig some potatoes up. I don't know. I'll have to research it and find out. If you guys know, let me know. I really don't know what I'm doing. All right. And some of them, I got more head lettuces down here with, with my red potatoes. And of course, they're way behind. And they're, and they're, well, I didn't plant them until about two weeks after I planted my Kennebecs. But... Yeah, the head lettuces need some more work too. Oh gosh, I need to do some weeding. Some of my peas are finally starting to trellis up, and that's cool. And some of them are even getting some blossoms, and that's even more cool. And I'm glad for that. This is a plot where I planted most of my yellow onions the other day because whatever was there. Oh, I think that's, I think that's for. No, I don't remember. I think that's where I had some uh, green onions that just didn't couldn't make it because I had too many weeds. Like here, here's some more yellow onions that desperately need to be weeded ah. and down here is where some more green onions didn't come up with through here and I started working on it uh, I believe it was yesterday I can't remember so this whole plot right here needs to be dug up and weeded and get pre prepared for 
more planting and I'm that's, I'm hoping to get some, some of that done today I don't know oh yeah see here you can use a better shot of some of my peas that are trying to come up and some ooh, some of this oh what's up with this oh man look at that I had a broccoli they were so little and tiny I didn't look at them but apparently this one made a little head and it's already flowered out whoa I had not noticed that at all I was hoping to show this to you I think I can get it this whole big old plant is just covered with blackberries and they're looking pretty darn good I don't know how long it takes them to actually turn black but I bet it won't be too much longer this is a beautiful this, I think this is one that's my favorite um, vine that was over here anyway but boy it's just covered wonderful and another thing I kind of wanted to show you too here's two different plants this one's covered also and it's pretty nice but see this is the reason I wanted to plant trees and blackberries all together so they can vine up so here's another one here and it's vining up into this tree all the way over here and I like that and I'm working toward that in the vineyard too I'm letting trees uh, just trees that grow up I'm not mowing them well it doesn't look like I'm mowing anything but I'm not mowing the trees to give the grapevines some shade and a place to climb up to because the rebar they work okay but they still get floppy in the ground yeah, yesterday when I checked the rain gauge, it had half an inch. Oh my goodness. This has got two inches in it just from overnight. Wow. Yep, we've been getting some rain, that's for sure. Now these are some of the garlic I planted last year. And it looks like they're... And it, it looks like, and like I said, I don't know. If you guys know stuff, let me know. Because I'm, I'm still learning a lot. Um... But according to Leon down in Sulphur, Oklahoma, or near Sulphur, uh, it looked like he was, when these guys were opening, that's when he his showed that his garlic had bulbed and was ready to be harvested. So I'm, I'm, when these are open, I'm going to uh, uh, pull one up and see what it looks like. And here's a, a grapevine. I got a lot of grapes. Little baby grapes everywhere. Now we'll just see if they survive. A lot of times what happens here is we get all this rain. Like, okay, like we got two inches overnight. And uh, that's actually too much. Because a lot of times if I get too much rain, my vines will start rotting toward the base. And then all of these grapes shrivel up and die. So we'll have to see how it goes. You never know from one year to the next what's going to happen with the grape vines. Well, what a muddy mess. I got most of it cleared out. I, I, I dug up over here, but I don't plant there, so I moved that board that was over there here. I forgot that I had these boards to give me something to stand on when I'm trying to straddle this. And so I've got it relatively weeded. I can't keep this place weeded properly. But we got a lot of weeds out of it, and I've got it, the soil loosened, and I'm going to try to chunk it up and smooth it out again. And... Uh, see what I can get done there it is 11 o'clock in the morning and usually by now well this last week I've had a had a significant flare-up with eczema and sun and sweating hurts and I think I'm on the tail end of it now and starting to feel better but I'm gonna try to get as much done as I can and, until I can't get out here anymore today you know I, I stopped for a while to, to uh, clean up the camper and start a load of laundry and stuff but uh i'm gonna i'm gonna see if I, if I can get this pot finished and get the last of the onions into the ground but you know what i'm beginning to feel the sun and i begin to feel sweaty maybe i'll suck it up i don't know but yeah this this latest flare up has been fun <laughs> all right this might end up being a mistake i don't know this is all the pot, pot that i had tried to prepare but boy it was muddy and I only had a few yellow onions left. And I've got this space here, and you can't see it very well. But this is where the Brussels sprouts are. Ooh, something's eating the heck out of those. Anyway, I put the handful there. That way I've still got this space for whatever else I want to plant next time. And I can find them. At least here I can find them. If I only had just a handful in a, on a, a row here, I might not find them as well as I'd wanted to. So... That's done. It's time to move on to something else. Well, it was exceptionally muddy today, but it stayed cool, so I was grateful for that. 
and I got some weeding done, hoeing. I'm doing mainly hoeing. And I got a long way to go, as you can tell, but I got quite a bit done in here, too. So that was good. I'll see if I can get some, hopefully I can get this finished tomorrow. As I, like I talked about earlier, I didn't plant anything in this spot here. It just needs to dry out some more anyway. I'm hoping I didn't, not drowning those poor onions that I planted there. We'll have to see. But it was good to work outside today. I couldn't do it all weekend. I just felt terrible. And the sun and the heat just hurt, hurt, hurt. So I didn't have nearly as much trouble today. Now you can tell. Well, the ducks are talking. But now you can tell the difference between a potato plant and a lettuce plant. And a few other plants. We'll get these. Oh, I want to show you something else. That's kind of cool. Tom was out here a few minutes ago. Sorry, I'm trying to tight walk this. Because I've already, I've already got like 10 pounds of mud on my shoes as it is. But he found a volunteer tomato plant. So he put one of those red things around it so I won't hoe it. That's cool. It's been a good day. I'm grateful. I'm grateful to feel better enough to actually do something out here. And the tomatoes are looking so good. Yay. Well, I'm a filthy, muddy mess. But I feel good. I feel good about the work I got done today, and I feel good that I've got moved forward a little bit, and and I'm feeling better. My skin's still making me a little bit crazy, but it always does some anyway. But it, at least I'm not hurting like I was. I was hurting pretty bad for two or three days there, and I'm back at it again. So that's good. So do me a favor and subscribe to the channel and share any videos that you like, and and I really would appreciate it. Enjoy your evening, and here's your sunset. Good night.